George? Hey, Monty. What you doing, man? Let's get nothing new policy. Have you looked in the mirror today? It's good. I like it. Hopefully it'll help with the new girl, Samantha. She is so ugly. Yeah. Let me go ahead and move this up just a little bit in case people want to take a look at it. Yeah. Well, we got her coming up the back way when there's people in the studio, so no one has to look at her. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's going to help a lot with some of the clients that come in that don't like to vomit. Do I think the new girl, Samantha, has a face for radio? 100% yes. She's got a face for a lot of things that don't require anybody looking at her. She's got a face for thermal nuclear impact. I yeah. mean, she's a, you know, she's tragic. Yeah, she makes me wish I was blind, like I, my eyes were tore out of my head. like somebody put a fire out on her face with a sledgehammer or a dump truck. Or, or, more, or more fire. Yeah. More fire, right. yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say, more fire. Yeah. Like somebody took, there was a fire on her face and somebody threw gasoline on it and put <laughs> it out. It's weird. It looked just like that. Yeah. She's yeah. like one of those posters like when you go to the mall and you have to refocus your eyes to see what it is. It's like a 3D thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like a sailboat or like seagulls or like a flower. It's like death. <laughs> Black death. I think she might be Gollum. I'm really glad you got her coming up the back entrance. If I could murder her from here, I would do it. But I don't want to get that close to her ugly face. I mean, I don't know how when she was a kid, an infant, her parents didn't smother her. Yeah, yeah. How did they not just smother her body? That's right. It's not like she could fight back. I mean, it'd be, it's easy to kill a baby. Yeah, or fry her up and eat her. Right. Well, that's like what they rats, did. rats do that. I would seriously like to slap her father across the face with all five of my fingers. Open hand, bitch slap. No, no. I want to punch his face into hamburger. Okay. Imagine if you were a sibling of Samantha and you had to come through the same disgusting vagina I want to smack you daughter. now for that making me think about that. That's awful. You know, I also blame the Surgeon General for not making someone that ugly an official disease. Have you ever seen her legs? Uh, they're completely disgusting in every possible way. Yeah. Because when you think of legs, you go right to her vagina. Yeah. I've been gay ever since. Every time I see Samantha in the hall, it's like I taste shit in my mouth. Yeah. There's no escape. You know, I've never actually had a poop and jelly sandwich, but it's exactly what I taste right now in my mouth. I heard they're going to reinstate the Jim Crow laws in this office. They should. Yeah, just for ugly people, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. goes without saying. Yeah. Do you know, she used to work for Mike Vick. They used to use her face to scare the dogs before the fights. Yeah, they so. thought they were poking them, but they didn't want to have to worry about that. So right. They just right. sent her in and they did. to look at them for a while. Well, that's how she got all those lacerations on her face. Mm -hmm. It was from all the bites. She's just this little creepy monster. She was in a movie once. She was in Star Wars. She was the, the monster in the garbage compactor. Oh, that's right. That's that right. That was her. Before she little, changed her name. The little one eyes, like, yeah, that was yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I hear that she hides in kids' closets and under their beds at night. Yeah. She might look like a crime scene photo. She's disgusting, but she makes beautiful music with that voice of hers and a radio mic. She's like a brain surgeon on the air. Or a really, really good musician. It's just good nobody can hear how ugly she is. In today's news, local law officials have discovered three bodies. Broken, bloody, bruised. Lying in a ditch. Law enforcement officials say that the atrocities that they have seen convince them that there is no God. It's it's like it's like poetry. It's you? it's art, I think. It is you art. Know? It, it is art. Really is art. It's like a symphony in your ear. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's so nice. Yeah, it's, it's so a, sweet. It's, a, it's so warm. We're thinking about giving her our own show. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call it the Quasimodo Hour. Or, or the radio creature feature. Yeah, yeah. Could be called the ugly truth. It's a little on the nose. A little on the nose, yeah. Her ugly, pudgy little nose. Yeah, she is just disgusting. I might walk out of here and go murder her. Just don't get caught. Have you looked in the mirror today? It's not every day that one is forced to look at something so disgustingly gruesome that you want to swallow your own tongue. Questions you should ask yourself if you think you may be a gruesome, ugly person. Does your face make others actually taste feces? Do people randomly attack you because of your off-putting appearance? Will self-mutilation improve how you look and feel? If you think your face makes you angry, it makes other people murderers and rapists. Do you want to be responsible for sending people to hell? Evil loves ugly. I think she started the Black Plague a long time ago. I think she, huh. like, bit into a rat and... That's how it started. Killed a lot of people. <laughs> I'd punch her mom's vagina. 
<laughs> I would. I'd punch her mom's vagina. She she's earned a good vagina punching. I would put her mom in the street with a. <laughs> <laughs> Her parents literally didn't just dissolve her and mail her away. Right. Like <laughs> <laughs> child dissolving is <laughs> it was big in the fifties, but look at her hair, dude. It looks like somebody took a shit and smeared it on her head. <laughs> Gross, dude. Look at her hair. It looks like somebody took one of those really stringy shits and then attached it <laughs> to her head. <laughs> Well, they should, they should, because I bet you her milk tanks are full of black, disgusting, <laughs> smelly poison. Dude, I bet you her milk tanks are full of black, gross poison. <laughs> I bet you her milk tanks are full of black. <laughs> I bet you her milk tanks are full. <laughs> I can't get, I can't get their milk, milk tanks. tanks. Oh, gross. Dude, I bet you her memories are full of black, gross poison. It just spews out black <laughs> arsenic. <laughs> That's true. I've seen the squirt come out of there. It kills people. Yeah, right. What is that? It tastes like shit in the air all of a sudden. <laughs> it looks like a <laughs> it's like a it's like a poop and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'd like to throw her into a, a kettle of lava. Mm -hmm. But that's for really day. really hard to get your hands on a kettle of lava. Yeah. It's like, you'd be surprised how hard that is. Yeah. The whole earth is made out of it, but we can't get any. I know. eBay. It's ridiculous. I, I, I didn't think about eBay. Perfect. eBay. <laughs> it's, she gave you Tourette's. You're like the second person, I think, in the office that's got Tourette's from her, actually. Oh, wow. Yep. Well, I'm seeing that person about that, so I'd rather not that's get that. Good. I don't want to get that on camera. Okay. We could probably we can cut that, I think, right? I hope so. You can cut that out, right? I, I don't know... What else to say other than she's a disgusting fat body of a person? I've never seen anything as gross as her, and I will swear in front of Congress on that. Me too. <laughs>